Hello, if you're new here, my name is Michelle and I draw abstract and geometric patterns. Today I'm going to show you some of the art supplies that I use to try and give you gift ideas for this holiday season. So I'm going to start off with sketchbooks. My favorite sketchbooks are the Strathmore brand. I usually use the drawing one as well as the mixed media one. I use the mixed media one for my watercolor paintings and then I use the drawing one for my drawing pens. You can get those Strathmore sketchbooks in a bunch of different sizes. I also have this giant one here, which is 18 by 24 inches. And then I also use the Moleskin brand. I have a few different sizes of these as well, including a larger size in this one. I forget what size this is, but they have a lot of different options. And what I like about the Moleskin sketchbooks is how thick the paper is. So I use these with my ink drawings as well. If you know somebody that likes to journal, I use just a basic sketchbook and I like to use this for art journaling. Another great idea for that creative person would be a bullet journal. I think this is such a fun way to plan, but still keep it artsy. And then with my sketchbooks, I use the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pen. I have these in a bunch of different sizes. They come in different colors, as well as black. And sometimes I'll use the Micron brand as well, but they pretty much do the same thing. A great thing about those artist pens is that they don't bleed through the next page in my sketchbooks so those are perfect something else that i use a lot are markers and i love the posca paint pens they come in different colors and different sizes and these work great in the moleskin sketchbooks they don't bleed through another marker option is a dual tip sketch marker i have the michaels brand which is a more affordable option compared to the copic brand and then i also have the tombow brand dual tip markers as well. I like to create watercolor backgrounds for some of my drawings. I have both the Artist Loft brand from Michaels as well as the Windsor Newton brand. So a watercolor paint set is a great gift idea. I also have water soluble colored pencils. So it's like a watercolor paint in colored pencil form. A great stocking stuffer idea would be little bottles of paint. If you're looking for something affordable, I like to use the Deco Art brand. I think the size would be perfect for a stocking. Or you can go with the regular sized acrylic paint. And in addition to the acrylic paint, you could also get packs of canvases as well. For my acrylic paintings, I like to protect the canvases once I'm done. So I use a Windsor & Newton varnish to spray over the painting, and this will protect oil and acrylic paints. And then, of course, to use the paint, you're going to probably want a palette to go along with that. You can get one for acrylic and oil paint, as well as watercolor paint. The next few items that I use are not necessarily art supplies, but can be helpful for the artist. And one of those things would be picture frames. I love hanging up my own artwork, as well as others' artwork, in my art room, so I'm always buying picture frames. Something I use a lot is the Procreate app, which is a digital drawing app, and I use my iPad to do that, so that could be a good idea as well. And then an Apple Pencil to go along with it. I use the first generation Apple Pencil, I believe, and then the sixth generation iPad. If you know somebody that sells their artwork, I have a little business card holder that I like to keep at my desk, and I got this really cute one on Etsy. This is great if they also do art shows or artist markets so they can have their business cards on display. Another thing that I like to use are stamps for my packaging when I mail out my artwork. So I have one with my logo on it and my website and Instagram handle on it. I got this off of Etsy and it comes with an ink pad. And also use this one for my envelopes that says handle with care and do not bend. Something that I like to have here in my art studio on my table is a paper cutter. I just got this one on Amazon. It's the Amazon Basics brand. Something else I like to do is paint on tote bags. So a pack of just blank tote bags could be a great idea as well. I like to record videos of myself drawing and something that comes in handy is a tripod. This one I use with my camera and my phone as well with this little attachment and it makes recording videos a lot easier. I also have a larger tripod that I'm recording with right now. And then the last item that I use as an artist, which I think would make a great gift idea, would be a ring light. I use my ring light for recording my art videos, so it really comes in handy. You can get a full size one like the one that I use, and they also make small ones that attach to your cell phone as well. And that is it for my favorite art supplies. Hopefully you've got some good gift ideas for the artist in your life. Thank you so much for watching and happy holidays.